Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Waste production on an aircraft carrier is a significant aspect of its operational and environmental management. Crew members on the carriers produce solid waste, including food packaging, paper, plastics, and other materials. For this, specific waste management practices and facilities are on board to handle the various types of waste produced. Waste management on an aircraft carrier like the USS George H.W. Bush is a crucial and tightly organized operation. given the need to handle the trash generated by nearly 5,000 sailors on a daily basis. The Navy takes waste management seriously to ensure that the waste is sorted and disposed of in accordance with the Chief of Naval Operations instruction. Each type of waste is sorted and processed properly, including materials like paper, plastic, metal, food waste, burnable items, textiles, glass, and plastic. A crew team plays a critical role in ensuring the waste is processed according to the appropriate procedures. Due to the environmental impact of plastic waste on the oceans, there are strict regulations that prohibit the discharge of plastic from Navy surface ships worldwide. The only exceptions are for cases that ensure the safety of the ship, the health of the crew, or to save a life at sea. Trash on board U.S. Navy ships is handled and disposed of in several ways, depending on the type of material. At the trash room and incinerator room of the vessel, a group of 15 to 20 personnel handle and process all waste generated on board. This includes a wide range of materials, both hard and soft plastics, food waste, metal, and more. Soft and hard plastics are shredded and then processed in a machine known as a compress melt unit, which is responsible for compressing and melting down the plastic waste into compact pucks. Then they are packed and prepared for removal from the ship. Different types of waste are processed separately, and it is crucial to avoid mixing them. For example, metal cans or food waste should not be placed in the CMU, as it can lead to processing issues and potential damage to the equipment and certain materials are directed to the incinerator. This strict separation of waste is enforced for efficient processing of waste. Plastic sorting practices on aircraft carriers are essential components of the Navy's commitment to environmental stewardship and responsible waste management.
Shipboard waste is generated in various areas of the aircraft carrier, including the mess deck, the galley, berthing areas, and administrative spaces. Many items used on board, such as food packaging, have plastic components. To simplify the sorting process and improve plastic waste management, sailors are encouraged to remove all plastic components from items before segregating waste. This includes removing plastic liners from containers and separating plastic parts from other materials. Plastics can have severe negative impacts on oceans and wildlife, so separating them from different waste streams help reduce the risk of plastic pollution. The commander, Fleet Activities Yokosuka Trash Disposal and Recycling Center, is a critical facility supporting the U.S. Navy's operations in the Asia-Pacific region, plays a vital role in managing the waste generated by the naval community at CFAY. as well as promoting recycling and responsible waste disposal practices. The center conducts educational and outreach programs to raise awareness among naval personnel and their families about the importance of waste reduction, recycling, and proper waste management. The Trash Disposal and Recycling Center collaborates with the local community in Yokosuka to ensure that waste disposal practices are in harmony with local regulations and environmental standards. MCAS Miramar, or Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, is located in San Diego, California, and serves as a major U.S. Marine Corps installation. Its recycling center plays an integral part of the base's environmental sustainability efforts. The primary goal of recycling centers on military bases, including MCAS Miramar, is to reduce waste going to landfills and promote responsible waste management practices. By recycling materials, the military not only reduces its environmental impact, but also conserves resources. The way we can increase our diversion rate is have as many people on this base help recycle. So instead of throwing away all your old electronics, all your wood, our cardboard, you bring it to the base. We can dispose of things properly or tell you how to dispose of them. Recycling competitions organized by Marine Corps bases, such as the Marine Corps Base Hawaii Recycling Competition, play a significant role in promoting environmental awareness and sustainability within the military and local community of the area. The primary objective of these recycling competitions is to engage and inspire military units and their personnel to participate in recycling and other environmental conservation efforts actively. These competitions are often aligned with Earth Day events which are celebrated worldwide to raise awareness about environmental issues and promote eco-friendly practices. The practice of incinerating waste dates back centuries. In ancient times, open-air burning of waste was a standard method to reduce waste volume.
Modern waste incineration facilities have evolved significantly in terms of technology, efficiency, and environmental controls. One of the primary objectives of waste incineration is to reduce the volume of waste that needs to be disposed of in landfills. This is particularly important in densely populated urban areas with limited landfill space. Waste incineration can handle various types of waste, including solid, medical, industrial, and hazardous waste, thanks to the design of the incinerations to accommodate specific waste streams. The Spent Brass Recycling Program at the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station is an initiative aimed at recycling spent rounds of ammunition and generating cash for the unit. The program involves approximately 225,000 spent rounds of ammunition each year, and its brass and metal are processed, involving sorting the rounds into frangible ball ammo and blank ammo categories. The program not only recycles brass, but also collects steel and other metals. This includes steel links, often brought in by units in wooden boxes or metal cans. The collected material is carefully sorted to ensure no brass or live ammo is present. U.S. Army depots play a crucial role in the maintenance, repair, and renovation of military equipment and munitions, including ordnance. Renovation lines of facilities within these depots are responsible for inspecting, refurbishing, and upgrading various types of ordnance to ensure they meet required standards for safety and functionality. Ammunition renovation is also a main operation for military ordnance, as it transforms aged or surplus munitions into reliable assets fit for modern missions. Ordnance is typically managed by the Ordnance Corps, which is a branch of the United States Army. The Ordnance Corps is responsible for the development, procurement, storage, and distribution of ordnance. Their ammunition production exercises stand as crucial catalysts, propelling the evolution of weaponry and equipment to new heights. By simulating real-world conditions, these exercises subject ammunition to rigorous testing, scrutinizing its performance and quality under diverse scenarios. Advancements in waste management systems and recycling facilities not only contribute to reducing the environmental impact of military operations, but also highlight the integration of sustainable practices into the broader framework of military logistics and training. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.